Adding images. This is also another very popular thing that is important to know how to do. And of course, this is adding images to your website. And what we do is it's similar to creating a link. We're going to use tags. Or they're going to look like this. We need to start it off with the IMG. Of course, that stands for image. And then SRC equals. And then again, I don't have the quotes here. Uh, they should have been. I apologize for that. The quote. And then, of course, this is the location of the image right there. And then the end quotes. And then we specify the, the width and height of the image. And then we end it and that is the image code so let me go ahead and demonstrate this I'm gonna go ahead and put an image in here I'm gonna add another break and another break just to create some line space and I'm gonna start it with the IMG space SRC equals and then the quote and then the location of my image which actually yeah right there and then I'm gonna have quote again I know that that's long okay and then I end it like that Okay, let's see what that looks like. There we go, look, there's the image, it came right in. Now we can also, of course, when the search engines look, you know, they don't view the image, they just read what the image is. We can also add what is known as the alt tag, where we can write what it's about. So, I could put uh, dog obedience training, that could be a description of what the image is. Okay. And again, you know, you don't see that. That's just for the search engines. But that's how that works. So that is essentially it. Again, the code is in the, the book. But that's how you create an image. It's not that hard. And the one thing I didn't do there was I didn't specify the height and width. Let me just go ahead and show you that. If you don't specify it, it just goes ahead and takes the image at whatever size, you know, the actual image is. But if you wanted to change it, make it smaller. Let me go ahead and do that. We're here still in this tag. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put height equals 100 and then I don't need to put the width because it's going to scale it you know so to make the height to take it down to 100 you know it's automatically going to have the uh, the width you know to scale now if I wanted to stretch the image then I could have it uh, let's see I can make the width 100 also and as you know that's not really how that image is meant to be viewed and it doesn't look quite right but uh, again you can pull images around and stretch them or if you wanted to eliminate that, then the image is just going to be pulled in at its default size. So that, of course, is how you add an image.